Welcome back to the Bum Yardens Podcast. This is episode 10. I'm your host, E-Man, a.k.a. The Man, with my two co-hosts. Jordan! Jordan! A.k.a. Uh, Wizard Kelly, a.k.a. All My Bitches Freaks Like Giannis, a.k.a. Big Money Ice Cream Truck Spender, a.k.a. Uh, Are you going to finish my nigga or? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways, it's your boy Andre, aka Manu Bow Shooting Arm Sleeve, aka Steve Job Invisible Hairline. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this? Manu Bow Shooting Arm Sleeve? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Manu Bow Shooting Arm Sleeve. <laughs> aka Debo Third Eye. Man, get on there, dog. All right, welcome, welcome back, guys. Um, we're gonna quickly recap on episode nine. <clears throat> Jordan back at it again with his ruthless comments, com- comparing a uh, Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert. Both bitch ass niggas, yes. Overrated. They're not bitch ass niggas. As They're fuck. good artists. <laughs> They're overrated. Lil he's in his own category when it comes to Playboy. Nah, exactly. He's overrated. Exactly. And then, bro, you're like, he only has one good song, Neon Guts. Like, bro, you telling me? Oh no, on his last album, yeah. You didn't like How to album, Talk? Neon Guts. No, nah, only like. You probably don't even remember how to talk. You probably didn't even listen, listen to the whole album. Listen, that's why. If I'm not remembering, <laughs> I only remember Neon Guts. That's a, that should say something about his album. Oh, I don't know. I like Lil Uzi. I got a colorful aura. Like I got Neon Guts. And Pharrell was the best part of that song. But you know, he's just not my type. I'm not saying he's bad. He's just overrated. People think he's God when he's like, "There's a much better artist I'd rather listen to," and I'd much rather. Like, just sit there and expect music from Like, I guess meme culture would fucking have you believe that he's his god. But, nah. That nigga's whatever. Real shit. You don't think, like, for his sound, he's good? That's what I'm saying. He's for his sound. But, like, his sound isn't, like, the best sound. Like, like there's artists that make music that sounds way better and makes more sense. Like, his, his, his music's pretty boring. What do you think about that, Dre? Man, this nigga's dumb, like... <laughs> Can I have an opinion, bitch? Like, damn. Get off my <laughs> like, you're retarded. <laughs> oh, Lizzie's he's cold, nigga. Like, I don't understand. Gold, shut up. He's cold. He's in his own category, like I said, bro. Yeah. He and Playboy Cardi, yeah. Playboy Cardi rap, like, like, his fucking lips is stitched together. But, like... You're dumb, nigga. That nigga's nothing compared to Uzi. The fuck? I'm just saying yeah. they're overrated. Shit. Like, they're overrated. Like, it doesn't... I mean, they're not... I'm saying they sound like they're just overrated. I don't think they're comparable. You, you said a lot like... of bullshit, so I'm not even going to argue with you. You said Salam's so better than Beyonce. Listen, so listen, this is all my personal you. opinion. I just have, like, you know, like, I'm more... Criti- like, you know, I criticize motherfuckers. I'm like Simon Cow. Like, shit ain't gonna fly past me, cause, you know. You like Max yeah, Kellerman, Christian. you think Kawhi better than Kobe with your dumb ass. Hey, hey, it's a debate to be had. That's all I'm saying. You know, you just look at the, you know, you just look at the two artists and you go like, this nigga's fucking hella, like, you can't, there's no memorable lines from Lil Uzi where you, like, stop and go, that's a bar. Or like, whoa, that's creative. It's just, like, passable. You're wild. Whatever. 
Uh, dude, there is none. I'm like you, Jordan. Like, don't you know we're the same? But I like both of them. Like, I dislike both of them. I've never, to be honest, for me, I've never. Both of Playboy Cardi's albums I've liked. I've never not liked an album. Because I can, like, for me personally, I can, like, separate, like, when I'm listening to them, you know, I'm not looking for certain things, like how I would look. Oh, yeah, see, for... I listen to Comethazine. I fuck with Comethazine. I listen to, like, City More, like, guys like that, like, different guys. But, like, to me, it's like nobody's over here gassing these niggas. They're just like, oh, these are cool artists. Like, fucking Lose and Playboy Cardi are put on this, like, pedestal. When they're just not that good. Like, you could be, like, you feel me? Like, stay in your lane. Like, LeVar Ball said, stay in your fucking lane. I don't like this whole thing where you get, like, you know, the best rapper ever. Like, ew. I don't know. No, number I'm nine not, not my lane. slaps, nigga. Number nine slaps. <laughs> Still, I don't know. it's just not, it's not for me. All right. I don't know. Um, we're gonna move on to the best album of the week. We're gonna talk about. Uh, let me hear this. <laughs> we're gonna talk about. So let me hear this. We're gonna talk about gonna Dave talk about psychodrama. Dave. Get that bullshit out of here. <laughs> uh, this dude from a uh, UK. Um, this album was. It's different. Like it's. It requires a lot of attention, like, to, like, grasp the, like, messages that he's trying to, like, portray and stuff. Um, off of, like, interviews that I've watched, I mean, it seems like he has potential. Like, he could maybe, in the future, be a decent artist. It's just this album, like, sonically, it just doesn't, it's not pleasing, in my opinion. I mean, I do like one song. Um, I like Purple Heart. It's like more of like an R&B type song. I like that song. But everything else is just whatever. I mean, he has good messages. That's really like the only thing that like carries the whole album as a whole. It's like the messages are like really deep. But besides that... Um, He's just like another, you know, UK artist. Like you can't really like, like, like di differentiate him from like Skepta or Gigs. Like they kind of just like all, all similar, all similar sounds. But Jordan, what do you, uh, what do you, uh your two cents on Dave? Um, what I what I see. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh fuck! <laughs> All right, back to it. back. To it. Uh, I just thought this nigga was the man's not hot dude. Um, it wasn't him. Uh, and then he's just like, I can't, I don't know, UK niggas, like, especially with rapping, it's real sensitive to me, like, the way you sound really, like, and I, it's like, you could sing, because sound for Adele, Sam Smith, all these people, you could have an accent and sing, but, like, rapping is different, and, like, I haven't really fucked with a UK rapper, uh, he's like Jeffrey the Butler from fucking Fresh Prince, he's just, it's like, I just, like, boxed you niggas in already, like, I, I, I don't respect you guys at all. Um, you may have talent, I don't care. Uh, that shit isn't for, like, people who can fucking listen to other guys. Like, we, we ain't gotta go across no fucking country to find some real music. Like, fuck you, bitch. And, uh, his name is David, so. Uh, <laughs> lost respect for me there. Be creative, come up with a rap name, bitch. Uh, that's it. <laughs> What's your opinion on, uh, you know he has a song with Drake? What's your opinion on that? Uh, Drake is Drake is a culture vulture, and uh, if he sees anything trending, he will hop on it and automatically fucking destroy it with his cringy fucking 
Canadian act that goes to Zaggy. Yeah, the whole thing. His whole fucking cringy Canadian shit. Uh, he's just a cringy guy. Fuck Drake and fuck UK rappers. <laughs> Alright. I say this because UK niggas don't have access to guns. So, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <fatty laughs> bitch you know, he, all the thing you do is get stabbed. <laughs> get stabbed up. Yeah, I just, I just shoot you. I just, you know, I just look at you while you charge at me with a knife, you fucking Viking. Out of here, bro. <laughs> Funny. And it's called grime too. Like you guys are, yeah, the streets of fucking UK are wild, but like you niggas just don't sound wild. Y'all just sound weird. But um, fuck Dave, and he's a bitch. Hmm. I don't hate him, but it's just like he's just a bitch. You just don't like UK artists as a whole. Nah, yeah, I just I'm just gonna group them together and just you know. Until I hear somebody who could really fucking spit crazy and isn't annoying with his voice. It just sound corny. Understandable. You want to add anything? Uh... I probably should have asked Dre <laughs> if he wants to add anything. Yeah, yeah. You just don't get the same thing. We'll just move on. Just move on. Next question. <laughs> Man, next question. Man. Next question. You seriously you won't get fined. <laughs> All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna move on to uh, Mister Mister uh, Groovy Tony. Man, uh, Schoolboy Q. Like, you want to go first, Jordan? Uh, sure, man. Um. Bullius, Bullius, Cuius. Uh, he's just a, you know, a local rapper, you know, in the LA area, you know. He was buzzing with TDE for a little bit, you know. Then he really popped off. Niggas really, you know, hopped on him. Whatever, whatever. Y'all know the story of Schoolius, Coolius, Bullius. But, um, this this crash talk shit, like, uh, people were expecting a lot more. I, like, I don't know, because he's been, like, away for so long like he ain't dropped nothing so long so i guess people had some high expectations and he like didn't three deliver. years yeah he didn't deliver i like blank face way more than i like crash talk like blank face was new it was creative it had like this flame like you know it's just different like old the like eerie beats and vibes like way and it told a story crash talk is just like a lot of these songs are him and his homies just spitting on shit like and they're not really trying. You can tell there's not a lot of effort there. He just got it in to get like just put something out real quick. I, this shit's a whole ass miss. You expect more from artists like Schoolboy Q. He missed hard. Uh, it's a really boring safe album. It's a shitty version of Oxymoron. Yeah. Mm. A st- great person though. I fuck with Schoolboy, but this album's trash. Yeah. For him, I hold him to a higher standard. That shit ain't flying. What he dropped on fly with me. Yeah, I feel, I feel you. I kind of agree the same. I mean, uh, like, I the one thing I do like about Schoolboy Q is that like his albums always have balance. You know, like there's like yeah. always multiple themes to his album. You know, like there's every song is like a different pocket. Like he's really good with like. Um, like po- finding pockets, you know, like different sounds for each song in his album. Like he never has a song that sounds exactly the same as the other one. Or like, for example, like Num Num Juice. That's like that's like the concert type. Like that's the shit you play. He's gonna like you know play at the shows and shit. Like the up the upbeat hype shit. Then he got like some more vulnerable. He has a more vulnerable side with like drunk with a black that's actually like one of my favorite songs like that that's the more like vulnerable side like more like soft side of q and then he has songs like um lies which is like kind of like a little like west coast you know west coast like party type shit i just like i like that that like all his albums have balance but i i do agree like it could have been better since it's schoolboy Q, you know, and like how long we waited 
for the project. I've never listened to Blank Face because I heard Whoa. that it wasn't good. And I never was like a huge fan of Q. Like I like Q, but I never was like out of everyone in TDE, he wasn't like my favorite, you know. I was more of a J Rock and Absol and Kendrick, of course. Yeah. Hey, nothing's wrong with Abs. Why did niggas hate on Abs? Oh, man. Yeah, you has the fucking cringy bars. Why did niggas hate on Abs? Oh, like that. Big pick, then I scored <laughs> soccer <laughs> game. He's that like, one come bar. on, bro. You the West Coast big time. shot. No, 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 no. Wait, no, what'd you no, call no, him? No, no, no. <laughs> you called him Big Shot. Fucking West Coast Big Shot. Oh, West yes. Coast Big Shot. Ah, it worked. Whatever. I like Absol. But, um, like, man, like, it wasn't, I wasn't blown away by this album. Like, I wanted to be, you know? Like, I wasn't blown away at all. But, it's not bad. Like, I won't delete it. I won't delete it off my phone. But I, I won't be listening to it, like, you know, for the next couple months. Like, I mean, if a song, if a song shuffles on my phone, I won't turn it off. I won't skip it. But like it's not like damn, bro. This album was like Tales super. Is good. <laughs> I really like Tales. I listen to Tales and Num Num Juice, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows? This is like really my only first impression. So like maybe later down the line, the album will grow on me. But I don't know. First impressions, it was kind of just it was whatever. I'll rate it a. Six out of ten. Agreed, agreed. Six out of ten. Maybe a high five. Yeah. High five, maybe. No, high five. But Dre, you want to add your input on Schoolboy Q? Yeah. Um, that shit. What's a pastime album to me, bro? It's like an album I could just listen to in the background while I do some shit. Like play 2K and ground for badges type shit. <laughs> Dead ass. I don't like bro album. Only song that hit to me is Chopsticks, Num Num Juice, Gang Gang, The Beat. The only, that's the only reason why I like that shit. Mm-hmm. Tills was a whatever. Drunk, I don't like. Lies was, you know, it's was, it was cool. 5200 was cool. Black Folk was whatever. Floating was whatever. Dangerous was whatever. Die with him was whatever. Crash was cool. Water was whatever. Attention was whatever. But honestly, yeah. I thought this nigga was going to draw some heat. Like, yeah, Oxymoron. That's the last good album he had, in my opinion. I didn't like Blank Face, really. It was whatever. And I most definitely didn't like this beat. album. It was whatever. Instead of you worrying about burning beetles with a torch, nigga, you need to burn the fucking booth on fire. Man, this goddamn man, album man, sucks. That, far that, way, bro. <laughs> that shit out of here. We need that. Making TV look bad. Y'all already have ab soul. Like, y'all can't man, do crap. Man, you might as well go back to being Kendrick Lamar hype, man. It's your weak ass, fake ass crip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you can be Rich. touched, Drake. Oh shit! He said, he's fucking going into devil's for real gang talk. Wow. Give, this a, <laughs> give this bitch the highest of five, but really it's a four. Oh shit! Yeah. Gas album. Fuck out of here, Nick. I want to go that far, but, you know, Dre. So, yeah, I don't do No, nah, this is the only shit. nigga I know uh, that still wear bucket hats in 2019. Like, hey man, he just he just that nigga. He's a regular dog. ass nigga, you bro. Know? Nigga golf. Yeah. Nah, he probably didn't want to drop this shit. He busy golf. Yeah, he, he, he like, should have dropped this the, shit. Should have kept this shit the locked label, up bro, the in a chest. Be like, hey, you gotta drop water. something every every couple years. You gotta drop something. So they like. Let me tell you know, something, Scoobuck, bro. You used to be one of my favorite niggas, bro, but. This nigga, man, like this is a throwaway album. Ladder. Man, I mean, in his defense, though, none of his albums ever sound the same. So he 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 said, he said that like 
Love, Every I album he killed. Bank, Schoolboy Q. I need that. This is what they want, Schoolboy Q. But he Q, doesn't do that, man. though. That's yeah. not him. He ki well, guess Every what? album this he album kills ain't... the last, like his, his past self. So, when he dropped Blank Face. Well, he needs he... a motherfucking reincarnate. They <laughs> <laughs> get into his avatar state, motherfucker. Yeah, he find a spirit animal. Yeah, he's he's Until you drop some heat, it's fuck Snoopers. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, I I live in L.A. Dre also lives in L.A. We do not uh we do not gang bang. Oh no, we, we want all, all the police. <laughs> Who is we? I need, I, some, I'm I need more. that oxymoron. I need that setbacks. I need that habits and contradictions. Schoolboy Q. Man. Man. I don't need that Bless. blank face and crash Bless, talk. My nigga. Man. Yes, my nigga. Only thing about it, come on, man, my man. Nigga. Don't stress, my nigga. Come on, man. Mm. I that. need that birds and the bees. Harsh criticism. We ain't giving nobody no fucking passes. Man. I didn't think it was as bad as you guys it's... are portraying, but I mean, it wasn't amazing. Hey, but... man! Bro, this no, bro. Like, bro, this ain't Schoolboy Q, bro. You feel man, me? Man, you know? It's not the Schoolboy Q I grew up listening to, bro, in the beginning of high school, bro. It's not that Schoolboy Q, bro. He's an L.A. nigga. It's like, bro, you know. When, when, yeah, like, when I found out about Schoolboy Q, the first album I heard was Oxymoron. I'm like, okay, bro, like, this is, like, this my album. Like, you should not fuck with this nigga. Like, every song slack, like Collard Greens, Gangsta, Gangsta. Like, I need Break the Bank, Man of the Year was my, my favorite song. But nigga, like, yeah, 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 bro, yeah. You, when I heard Blank Face LP, I'm like, oh. Then when I heard Crash Talk. Nah, I like Blank Face. My feeling was like, hey, this nigga finna drop some shit he haven't dropped since three years. This nigga dropped this shit. I'm like, what? It's a mid. What allowed that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Right. Well, I respect you as a man, but your album sucks. Yeah, as a man, you feel me? <laughs> you guys always respect this man. You guys going on a nigga and then say, I respect you as a man after you, like. I mean, because I mean, niggas he's a be good dropping father. bullshit music. Yeah. yeah he's a know, good father. You feel me? Like, I respect him. Like, if you just drop this album because you had to push it out. Man, yeah. He's not a bad person. I fuck with Schoolboy Q. But I just don't fuck yeah. with your album. Yeah, we know you can do better. Yeah. And, you know, in the raw, harsh criticism. That's how you excel. Man, if he ever sees this, you're gonna get better. I promise you that. Man. But right now, you're the monkey in the barrel at the bottom barrel, so. And I think you should be, like, you know, sitting there for a while to learn. You're absolutely man. right now. Now, man, now, now the TE ranking is K Dot, J Rock, Isaiah Shots is a. Ooh. And you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is K Dot, Isaiah Rashad, J Rock, SZA, then that nigga. I Isaiah Rashad's not brother J Rock. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what oh, the yes fuck you talking about. Yes, the fuck no, he's he is. not. Isaiah His Rashad, album was. No, he's not. Isaiah Rashad is probably. What, bitch? Y'all want to. I'll fight both of you right now. I don't give a shit. Nigga, I fuck Isaiah, Isaiah Rashad album was nigga. not. Was not I that, love not Isaiah Rashad. Sun's tirade, nigga. Who wanna fight? Them shit is, wanna fight? Them shit is not better than J Rock shit, bro. You're Redemption crazy. was the best album of 2018, nigga. Yeah, Cause behind. he ain't dropped nothing. Could he drop something? Nigga, damn. You feel me? Like, yeah. You're right. He do for an album. It's been three years He's now. He do for an album, motherfucker. So, I mean, album, he drop his shit. Then he can He's battling child. For, he wants his. He has like issues with his baby mama or his whatever. Son? Then yeah, if you mean once he win that case, I expect to drop some heat. I want to hear. It. That's why I fucked you, you bitch. <laughs> like I need need some of that. And heat. I got our son. Eh, eh, eh. But yeah. But um. Enough with um, the TD boys. Yeah, let's yeah. move on to uh. Move on to uh, another disappointing another album. Dis um, Mr. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Abstract. Abstract. Oh. Arizona baby. Arizona baby. And I'm gonna start off like like. I'm gonna start off like. I don't care who I offend who with I what I say. But first off, first off, I'm not a big Kevin Abstract I'm fan to begin with. To begin with. 
Like, he 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 was never one of my favorite. Never one of my Brockhampton favorite. members. Like, I like Kevin. I like him. But I was always a Amir fan first. Amir, I like Amir, Amir Matt Amir. Champion, or even like um even Dom. Dom. Like I would rather have like. So I would rather listen to solo projects from like them three than like Kevin. I just like for, for me I just don't like, him. like I just don't like the his style. The one song I do like on the album though is um it's called Use Me. That song was dope. Like he had the whole like gospel like like um, sample in the beginning and then like he like switched up the beat it was like super dope but that was like the only song I like I did I was kind of interested to, like I was surprised that he like brought up the whole like a mirror situation like that was kind of interesting but besides that like it was kind of just it was whatever I wasn't really in digging it I wasn't really fucking with it. Jordan, on the other hand, uh, what do you say? This is your your second uh, album of the year. <laughs> this is uh, probably up there with my favorite albums of the year. Let me explain. Emmanuel is a uh, Emmanuel is a Christian man from Texas. I didn't expect him to like this album, people. Um, um, he's conservative, you know. He, he, it's a very liberal album, you know, progressive. But um, but, um, let me get into it. You feel me? Uh, Kevin Abstract, amazing business mind. What he did, he cares about his music. What he did, he fucking found all his friends off like Kanye West website and fucking started this whole thing. Blew up. And uh, he felt like, you know, it's time to branch off a little bit from these guys. Let me identify myself as Kevin Abstract, not, you know, Black Kevin. Broke off from them a little bit, made his own shit. He did a couple albums before, but they were, they were like, whatever, hit or miss. But with this album, he got really deep for me, like, and it's like, it doesn't, I don't need to hear, like, it just sounds good, because the shit he's talking about, it's real, like, you can feel it, and then the, the, the instrumentals are solid, everything is solid for me. His bars could be off and shit, he's not the best lyricist. Like Emmanuel said, Matt Champion's probably... Probably like you know like the real rapper in the group rapper. along with Amir. I only really like Dom really? though, but yeah, like these are the real rappers. Kevin's kind of like just like the he has like yeah. all around yeah. musical prowess. Like he can do everything. He's everywhere, but he's not like really good at one thing. It's a good album. It's if you fucking album. if you want to hear something deep, some little thought provoking, you can listen to how he see it like eyes of a gay black nigga. Then, you know, check that shit out. Uh, fuck Amir. Um, and that's all I gotta say about that. That nigga has a wrinkly head. <laughs> Bobby, they need you back here. They struggling without you. They need to put some quarters in your head again. Uh, it's just... Without you, Captain without Wrinkle. You. This this group really struggles. Matt can't carry the load by himself. Yeah, it's so sad what happened. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a dark situation. <laughs> Group was so, so good. Wrinkles. Like I swear, before that whole situation that Amir got in, bro, that like they were like to me, like that was Close. all I was listening to. Like uh, nothing but broadcast. Yeah, man. Every day. But yeah. But know. they had to get rid of my man Amir, man. And we ain't heard from him since. I think I hope Amir is in some good spirits. Cause shit. To have it all and lose that shit in a year. That's crazy. Yeah, it's tough. I can't imagine, like, people <laughs> recognizing him. Man, then this is it. Like, yo, aren't you a mirror? That's probably awkward. But yeah, I would rate wrinkles. If I had to rate this, uh, I would give it, like, a four. Because he's not artsy. I live in L.A. I'm an artsy nigga. I get that shit a seven. I seven. It was just whatever, dude. Like, I don't know. I loved it. Man. I loved it. Dude. I was like, this shit is cool. I didn't let it. I didn't like. I really liked it. Mhm. Mm 
And because yeah, I just listen to so much of them and hear what Kevin has to say about life and how he, he sees things, how the money then made him into this different person. I think really what it is now I'm thinking about it is like the production just wasn't for me. Like it didn't. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like the only song that like I felt had good production like was "Use Me." Like that was the song that like I liked a lot. Like Boyer, Boyer. Because like if you don't like, like, if you don't like, if you don't like care for um Kevin, like that, then like this yeah. album's kind of like you know you're kind of lost because the things he's talking about like you don't really have any clue about you know. Yeah, you have so, to know have some to insight know. on Kevin if you don't yeah, put things to understand the album. But uh. Dre, you wanna hop in this? Yeah. Listen to Dominic Fike. Alright, so Bitch. Arizona baby by this nigga. We'll keep it real. I give it a four. I like this album more than Crash Talk. That shit wow. was garbage, but this shit. <laughs> This shit was better than Crash Talk, in my opinion. To be honest, they don't, I give it. I gave Crash Talk a four, and I give this shit a four. But I write this album more than Crash Talk. The songs was like all on this shit was like whatever to me. It was like songs I can just listen to, like just playing in the background, like I said, bro. But like, I mean, there wasn't no really they like they ain't no skips. Like this is just songs I have playing in the background. But my favorite song is Joyride. Like that month, that song slapped, nigga. Joyride. That was my favorite yeah. song. Yeah, and then the way he, nigga, he came on that bitch, nigga, with with the little goddamn auto tune, nigga. Hey, cool. You know, he went in his little bag. He was in his bag like, in a yeah, couple of these tracks. Yeah, he was in his bag. The beat too, like you think I thought it was gonna be some corny ball shit. It's like what a beat from Donnie and uh. Donnie Trumpet beat nigga with chance, nigga. <laughs> so I heard that I don't shit. Wanna like, slip, Are you yeah. taking a call back? Now I don't wanna get fucked up the act. Man, man. Hey, hey man. Bro, this is a joy ride, bro. That that song's hard. I'm like Kevin Abstract. But every other song is like whatever to me. Also like American Problem. I didn't like how it started at first, but then like later on when you start low key like rapping. Like I was like, okay, like, you know, and then the beat was also hidden on point too, so I was like, okay. Feel me? Georgia slapped. Um, Mississippi was cool. Peach and Use Me was cool. Boyer was cool. Like Crumble, oh, cool. Yeah, it was a cool album. Hmm. I like it's it. alternative rap. My biggest yeah, gripe is just rap. like the middle Brutal. chunk of the album is what I don't like. Like I like yeah, like Corpus Christi was like uh, baby boy. Uh, like. The first couple songs, I was like, okay, like, I mean, I don't, I don't really like this, but it's not bad. But then, like the middle, like probably like from out from song three to like seven, I was like, okay, I don't know about this. I'm not like. Then after that, I was so like in a negative mood after those four songs that I was just like, nah, I don't like this shit. But yeah, I don't know. I'm a conservative, so as Jordan yeah. puts it, you're just a Texas nigga, man. He's the niggas that Kevin Abstract rap about, you know. <laughs> okay, but Kevin. Oh, so. Anyway, fuck that guy. Get us kicked off the yeah, air. Trying to get us, trying to get us Kevin Harded, nigga. Yeah, chill man, out. You trying to get us canceled, man? <laughs> Before we even get started, we're gonna have fucking three niggas in the comment section canceled. <laughs> uh, views, and all of them fucking comments can be canceled. Canceled. <laughs> man. But yeah. if that's how you feel, man, that's how you feel, man. Yeah, Jay, that's how you feel. We're gonna jump to the best part of the week. My boys. My boy Saba, this man was hiding just like straight spitters. <laughs> like man, this man he did them for a minute. This man had spitters hiding in his basement, bro. Like, 
Pivot Gang. Like, I was, man, this album was so dope. I was surprised. Like, I know Sapa, like, can come with the heat, but I did not think his friends would be, like, that dope of artists. And then the features were, like, super, like, this man had Mick, he had Smino on it, bro. Smino. I actually really, to be honest, I didn't actually like the Smino song. I just didn't like the beat, but, like, still, he had, he had Smino, Mick Jenkins, nigga, nigga, no vest. That song fucking slaps. Man. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, bro, like, this is, like, the exact type of music that, like, I enjoy the most. Like, this shit, bro, this, like, it has, like, there's so many different sounds. It's, like, they have, like, the whole, like, East Coast appeal with, like, songs like Death Row and uh, I think it's Colbert. And they have, like, more, like, New Age type songs like uh, Mortal Kombat, No Vest, Bad Boys. Like, they, like... They like cover all the like new like all the genres of hip hop like just all in one. Cover all the tracks. It's just a great body of work, bro. Like in my opinion, it's just a great body of work. Like, and I like like how they're all they have all different styles. Like I don't know I don't know all all the members of Pivot Gang, but just of all just off like their voices, like I can tell one of them. He's like a super like lyrical like like poet type of rapper. And then there's like one dude, he has like the punchlines and shit. He's like the punchline type rapper. Like like with a lot of like me- metaphorical like lines and shit. And then you got Sa- Saba's like all that in one. It's just bro like these niggas is cold. Like, these niggas is fucking cold, bro. This is the shit that needs to be, like, praised in our culture. Like, fuck all these purple, blue-haired ass SoundCloud niggas. Like, this is the type of music that needs to, like, be promoted, bro. This is actually good hip-hop. And I know, I'll put that nigga Dre on. This nigga Dre was listening. Dre was listening to this shit last night too, <laughs> Jordan. Oh, so he's like, right, I'm gonna go to sleep. To listen to this Pivot Gang. <laughs> hey, them niggas snapped on that shit. Yeah, yeah I think they. they them niggas cool. They cool. They think them cool. niggas just not like where the fuck, bro? Like, hey, this shit is come out of nowhere. And, and you think about it, it's like, hey, bro. These niggas are doing this and watch them get no fucking main like no one's gonna Facts. pay attention to this. No and one's gonna like, listen to this. It's really discouraging to like these rappers because they're like, hey man, like these dudes are just fucking mumbling on the hook and talking about drug and they making all the money. So it's like, what the like you know? I hope they like you know find a little like indie set of fans and like a little cult following and they keep going with this. Cause that shit is like, what the fuck? Like, hey, this is that shit. Cause like these niggas was underground, like under, 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 under. I don't know where the fuck they came from. I only knew Saba. Like he was yeah. like, hey, you niggas, come on, let's rap, let's go to the studio. I felt like that's what it was. Cause I don't know none of these niggas, and they all are like contributing so much to the album. Yeah. Ama- they have one interview. Album. They, they have yeah, one like interview you know, it's just limited shit. I hope they blow up. Yeah, I hope they blow up. And like, I watched the interview, but I can't remember any. Like, I I can't remember any of their names. But it's it'll like... come in time. They're not the script yet. Like they, they, they're ugly motherfuckers. They don't have to look at all. Like the ugly people. Ends to think that we could be this young in our careers and be leaders, but right. it's a thing that we amongst ourselves know, and we I feel like bring that energy. You know. Do you feel like that's pressure? Not at all. Not even we'll pressure. make diamonds. <laughs> no, pressure does make diamonds. I like that. Blow over here. Not at all. Because I think well, like, <laughs> they don't you know, have the rapper spit. look at all. Man. Yeah, they don't spitters. have like none of them look like rappers. They just spitters. You know, those are just incognito spitters. But fuck with them. I highly recommend these guys. I just yeah. like couldn't say enough good things. 
may, maybe down the line we get more albums. I don't know if this is like a one-off thing. I don't know, you know. So yeah, let's just hope. We I mean, they're all going albums. on separate tours. Like in the interview I watched, they said they're all going on separate tours with like other bigger artists. But like they okay, so and bro, the crazy thing, much. they knocked this album out in eight days. Yes, like, that's like, tough. That's <laughs> that's that shit. That's like, like speaking of crazy. Nigga, death Row dumb slap, nigga. That's Death Row slap, Colbert yeah. slap, Mortal Kombat, Hero. Nigga, my favorite three is Bad Boys, Bible, and No Vest. Yeah. Those songs was hitting. Studio Ground Rule. That was like cool. Clark Kent. That song was cool. funny. Cool. Ever since in hand is cool. Mathematic was, uh, it was whatever to me. Jason State. It's a cool. Carnival was cool. Like, Nigga, that whole album was fire, nigga. Yeah. I I fuck with it. I can't. I don't want to ever give someone a 10 out of 10, so I'm just going to give them a 9.5. Oh, no, I gave these, I gave, I gave these <laughs> niggas a 7. You feel me? A 7? Uh, that shit was hard, yeah. Yeah. Give them a 7. 10s are reserved for Frank and... uh. I, yeah, 10s are reserved. Damn, I don't... Now that since you said 7, I might want to deduct mine a couple... I get like a 7.5 just because 10s are reserved for like, you know, Tyler Crater's new album and shit like that. But, Frank is, you know, up there. Kanye. You know, if he wants to drop anything, you get that 10. Kendrick. You get that 10. <laughs> J. Cole will never get a 10. <laughs> Man. Drake will never get a 10. Who else? Jordan Lucas, you said Drake will never get a ten. Jeezy, That's Russ, crazy. They'll never get above three. You know, you know how you said, you know how you said Drake will never get a ten. Look at him. He's gonna... That's funny, but he might get he give a ten to Kanye though. I just said, I just said, I just like, uh, I just like Kanye more than I like Drake. I, 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 I just, I just think you're just riding cock, like, <laughs> I just think like. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, like, come on, dude. Like, Nigga on Dick more than Kevin Abstract. <laughs> that was, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. He said he's a power bottom. I was like, I felt that. I felt that. Oh, man. Like, man. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that from? Eric Andre. Oh, was that when he was next to the gate? Oh, no, that wasn't that when he was next he, to the gate. It was cool. He said, I fed the fucking this retarded girl LSD. And we locked down around her saying, Nightmare, 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 nightmare. <laughs> was, was, you talking about the let me out? Let me out! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Man, you got I'm trying to think like what else I would add like bro to me like I feel like real like hip hop is like making a resurgence like all the new artists that we're finding are like actual like spitters like Earth Gang Pivot Gang like Flatbush Zombies like, I mean, these are all, yeah like like how Dre says Smino's Smino's of the Smino's. Yeah, Smino, man, hey, get, get Smino back on, bro. <laughs> Smino's, Smino's Mick Jenkins, like these guys are all like real rappers, and they're like the new, they're like the new artists. They're like playing coming with up. Niggas, bro. Like I, bro, I can't wait till the day like this like mumble shit is like washed out. Done. Oh, Look at this shit is washing out. I can't wait. It, 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 is, it is because, like, most of these niggas, like, they don't have, they can't really last. Like, look at Lil Pump. Like, all these guys, they ain't not, they not make the shit. Smoke yeah. perp. Like, all these niggas, is just, they can't last. Like, we heard that Ugly God dead. Who else is fucking, fucking Lil Yachty dead? Who else is a fucking meme rapper? Whoa, Lil Yachty, Yachty did rap. make that, that, uh, City Girl song, though. Man, listen. Please listen to these guys. Like the game. Like, like, just, just like how we're on like Earth Gang, like the, the same same thing, bro. Like this is rare. You gotta get these like, guys. Show the show them some love, bro. 
these niggas is crazy, bro. <laughs> like, man. But we're going to move on to our last topic of the week. Uh, Next question. Wow. Jesus Christ. Talk about this R&B artist named Ryan Trey. Um, Any nigga that from... has their actual name is not good. <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> I feel like I can name some artists who use their real name who aren't bad. Um, if you know a Bryson Tiller, Frank Ocean, Tyler Creator. Well, I mean, his name Kanye well, West, Drake. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Mang, mang. I don't know. I, I don't know. He was okay to me. I mean, he's like a offspring of Bryson Tiller, in my opinion. And this is where we stop talking. Wow. This... <laughs> There's not a man that can be a trap thinking like Bryson Tiller, bro. Can I, can I say a hot take? Man. What do you say, Jordan? Uh, are were you done talking about this uh, Ryan Trey nigga? I guess. Um, he looks like DDG, and I can't get over that. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will personally, I will never take you serious. Uh, it's already over. Your career's done. I think you should uh change your look. But no, you, to you right need to face tat. Come back, yeah. You just need a face tat or something. You just look like DDG. Nobody will, nobody will ever fucking see you as your own man unless you become super big. But I doubt that happened because you're he has talent, but he's just not him. Like, I need somebody that's original. Like, fuck, I don't want no Bryson Tiller copy. I'm a pretty boy and I can rap on trap beat. Like, I don't want to hear that shit, my nigga. Like, what what like I, don't, I need to hear your distinct voice like I could do this nobody else can do it when you hear other niggas do it that's me that they stealing Bryson Tiller already did that he ready he's the trap singing nigga like he's a nigga with the bitches and how to like you know like come on man. wait so like Bryson Tiller can influence people then but like when you're like it's influencing and it's like ripping a nigga off like he's just kind of like just riding that flow a little too hard. And he just sounds really like Bryson Tiller. He even fucking featured. And I was like, this shit's pretty bad. Maybe because yeah, like it's more from, song, like kind of to a female audience. Yeah, I don't know, but um, I don't know. I just like more like, I just think there's there like trap beats need to be like somewhat dumbed down for the like I don't know man. I just don't like this dude. He looks like DDG. I can't. I really can't get over this. He's just done to me. Ryan Trey though, he looks he looks like he could uh come up though. Do like some bitches, bitches gonna blow him up. <laughs> so he might be mainstream soon. I don't know. Yeah. I mean he's only like nineteen, so he, you know, his style could change. Later in life. He's not changing. But um. Uh, wow. Almost. Don't want to give my opinion now. <laughs> it's a fucking no, waste, no, 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 give your opinion. It's your opinion. See, I gave my opinion on the Kevin. I said I like yeah, you guys didn't. Yeah, give your opinion. Give your opinion, give man. Your opinion. Well, then, I didn't. If you liked him, you liked him. I didn't think he was bad. Like, you said I like anything higher than a six. We're kicking you off next episode. I like a couple. I like four I like songs. That. I like um. I like Bradley Beal freestyle. I like I like that song. <laughs> Uh, uh, mutual butterflies. butterflies. That's a song that I like. First heard. I was. I mean, this is cool. The video is cringy, but the song's okay. I, I like the song. But um, I do see your point. Like your, your guys' point. Like he kind of sounds like Bryson in a way. But I mean, I feel like it's kind of hard. Like if he wants to make that type of like R&B music, it's kind of hard. For him not to sound like he ain't competing with Bryce. The fuck? 
Totally. Yeah, I didn't say he was competing. It's just hard for him to. It's gonna be hard for him to, you know, like make his own style if that's like the popular thing is what Bryson does. And he's only 19, he's bro. Only 19. Like he has a lot of time to change. Yeah, you got time to change, mature, his style. But like. I ain't gonna say he's not gonna change like Jordan, but I'm just saying like when Bryson dropped this goddamn Serenity nigga, Ryan Troll, who the fuck is that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck your name is, it's not like a bitch. It's not like he got beat up in high school. Huh. I, he looks like a guy that got old, you know. Not, not to say, you know, he's a totally pussy, but uh, it's like you can probably do something. It's not like a nigga that got banged on. <laughs> yeah, he's like the type of nigga where he, like, he could take his assigned seat. He won't say a word to you. He's just sitting in his seat. He, <laughs> he has that look to him. He might tell. He looks like a telling kind of guy. Like on the low, he would tell. So he's a tattler. That's tough. Might get exposed by some bitches crying or something, like a voicemail, <laughs> you know. You just get, yeah, I just, just, you know, like, once you're, like, a really a moist-looking dude, I just, you know. <laughs> gotta have that, that, that in you, man. Jordan has I a know strong hate that. for pretty boys. Jordan has a no, strong No, 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 it's just hatred. like, it's just, no, 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 no. You could be a fucking pretty boy, but it's like... Like, sh like when the like them niggas who make music just for the bitches, it's like, all right, you, you that I I get to criticize you because you like you know, like you're just being a goofball now. Mm. But like Frank Ocean, he's he's like you know he's like a, like a stylistic guy. He's a really handsome guy, but he makes music for everybody. He you he's, he can't say he's a fucking bad looking guy. You can't say he's a bad dresser either. He's just a fantastic dresser. ASAP Rocky, pretty boy. Like you just gotta have like you just gotta have your music for your like a wider audience than just bitches. Cause bitches are easy to be honest. Like hood bitches. I don't mean regular bitches. Hood bitches. They just need some shit that they could fucking post a half naked snap to. That's all they need. Just back her. <laughs> yeah. To each their own. I think he has a, some potential. And he's from the same city as uh, Smino. That Lou, boy. That Lou, man. He's from, he's Luna from Missouri. Lou. Luna for the Lou, boy. Still a bitch. Oh, he's a bitch, <laughs> But um, that that one project he has, August, if I had to rate it, I would give it like a five. Like it's not like like there's some songs I really like. Like there's four songs I really like that I named earlier. Like those songs are really good to me. But I mean, it's his first project, so you know it's not gonna be amazing. But I give it like a five. It's it's worth listening to if you like, you know, until Bryson drops his album. Like, if you want a Bryson sound, it's worth listening to. Bryson's also a bitch, but we're not going to get into that. Um, yeah. well, on that note. On that note. Uh, we cast, nigga. That's yeah, pretty much it for the week. Um... Look forward to a, a review of the draft, nigga, next week. Since these two coons mm -hmm. didn't listen to the album. Mm -hmm. Um, what else next week? Tyler. Tyler dropping. Hey, <laughs> Igor. I'm like really look. Let's talk about this for for a second. Like I'm really like hype for that. Well, I, I don't want to be too my... hyped, though, man. I don't want to be too hyped and get disappointed, you know? If it's anything like Fireworks, Fireboy is one of my, like, like, those my snippets. top ten albums of all time. Bro, those snippets 
Oh, they're so good. Like, <laughs> yep. It's like you just. It's like you know he has something because Tyler's not gonna do no weak shit. He's not yeah. no that artist. Tyler don't just drop things, bro. Like it's he go drop. Oh, yeah, he coming shit. hard. He's so he's coming. He's swinging for the fences. The Flower Boy Amazing album. That's a ten out of ten album. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking yeah. forward to this. Definitely. You'll see us talk about P and B Giraffe Rock. And uh <laughs> you know. And uh Tyler, definitely. Um any last words? Um Alright, shoot y'all niggas. Fuck snoozers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jordan has a widow's beak. Call an ambulance. Yo, Mr. Gotti, oh, you so holy, hold you proudly, like where the clouds be. Only one that's repping Phoenix right in the right way. Everybody, yo, so corny, like, oh, West Way, West Way, uh. Any parking spot, parking lot, plaza dot, Molly Wap, I'm with it then. Black is hot, corners chop, morning's hot, when will the fucking morning end? You pussy train, knew the rain, knew the name, got a problem, then say it then. Fucked up, time's up, duct tape, wrapped up with your friend.